country to all those whom Grenfell Towers, who lost loved ones or whose loved ones are uh, injured or hurt. The truth will out in the end about what happened there and we must demand sprinklers, not just in our high rises, but in our schools and in our public services and buildings. If it's good enough for the luxury flats in Kennington, it's good enough for everywhere else. single one of those families deserve to be rehoused in their area, in their homes, and we will make sure that happens. Well, London, well, 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 what did Theresa May say? Coalition of Chaos, if you voted for Labour, a weak leader, Look what we have now, a coalition of chaos under Theresa May and a weak leader. But you know what's worse than a Tory government? A Tory government propped up by the DUP. By an organisation that backs terrorism, that uh, decimates women's rights, and that discriminates against those of our LGBT community. That's not what the people of Britain voted for. But you know, this shows you what Theresa May and the Tories will do. They'll sell their granny if it means they'll stay in power. They don't care about the people of Britain. They don't care about morals. They have no morals. They know the cost of everything and the value of nothing. But we cannot sit by and let this happen and that's why I'm so pleased to see so many of you out here today in the movement that you've created with Jeremy Corbyn. Let me tell you there's been some difficult days for Jeremy and for his team over the last two years. But you have kept him going. You have kept me going. Thank you. And too much is at stake for us not to keep going. Our kids' future, our future, the future of our public services and the better future for Britain. Already President Trump's state visit has been delayed because he's scared there might be some devils against him. So Theresa May off to do without the man who replaced Audacity of Hope with Audacity of Group. And that's not the only shade of orange that should be forced to do without. Because the future, if it's blue and orange, isn't going to be a bright future. We all know that the Tory government break their promises, but at least David Cameron waited till their manifesto ink was dry. But you know what? The truth is, Theresa May has no mandate. She never did have a mandate. She was installed without even an election within her own party. It's time to say enough and the fat cats getting rich at the top while the rest of us are told we've got to take austerity, we've got to take second best, our children can't have a future and that we can't look after our older people. Well I say no, enough is enough. <laughs> Just over a year ago, my friend and our fellow colleague from me and Rupert who joined Parliament in 2015, Jo Cox, was murdered in the line of her duties as a Member of Parliament. She talked about the importance of democracy and 
showing love by your neighbour and about there's more in common than that that divides us. We've got to take that spirit and hope. We've got to take that far, that, 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 that thing, future forward because we know that our values mean more than grubby deals and backroom deals between shady parties that have no mandate to do what they want to do. London, a man that I respect, a man with great integrity, once said, Mahatma Gandhi said, be the change you want to see, work with us, let's see that change, let's get rid of Theresa May and the grubby little deals and let's get a Labour government. Thank you, the amazing Angela Rayner. Okay.